know, I mentioned it last night about, you know, during the week we talked about going 3-0 this weekend and, and you know, we, we set the table at a high standard with that walk with us uh, unveil yesterday and that video message and, and, again, continue to be so proud of our guys for using their platform and voices and, you know, eked out a victory last night. And I thought today, you know, we, we you get in the locker room last night and you it was hard to tell that we won. We, we just knew there was a better version just the way we finished. And just really pleased with the way the guys listened uh, today, this morning, executed. And, and it was fun to see. That's a, that's a fun brand of basketball right there. Did you just talk about it, it seemed like, you know, all nine guys really in the game were making some type of play on the floor, doing a little things. Was this like a definition of a team night tonight? Yeah, and, and I think that's been who we are a little bit too, where you go back to last Sunday, we had six guys in double figures. Um, and I think that's tough, tough to prepare for. Something that we got to continue to work through too is, and I think too, there's a couple guys here or there that didn't have unbelievable weekends that are capable at other times as well. Talked about a little bit yesterday, but Grant was all over the place today. Describe his game. Yeah, I mean, obviously Grant's a, a really good player. You know, Bowden Scunberg's a really good player. Uh, Desmond McKinney, you know, maybe didn't have his best night, but, um, you know, he, he's been huge for us at other moments too. And, and you know, I, I get caught up too. Those are three freshmen, but uh, Malik and Jarius, those guys are only sophomores. Those guys just played, you know, very minimal at times last year too. So um, it's exciting for all of our young guys. That's a tough matchup though, Grant tonight. Well, I mean, he, Grant's got good length. Um, I mean, he's got good skill. Um, He's a good player. He's young. He's learning. Um, I thought he passed and catch a little bit better than he did last night. Took care of the ball. Um, got a long ways to go defensively as well, though. You put him on top, though, didn't you, for a while? Yeah. Yeah. Again, his his length can bother him, but um, again, like uh, I think there's a narrative. Grant's Grant's a good good player, and Grant's got a, a bright future, just like a lot of our young guys. What did you guys do specifically defensively after Tut had such a nice night last night? Made a couple. I don't need a you know, elaborate, you know, totally. But we made a couple adjustments. Obviously, he was terrific last night. And, you know, th that being said, it's a little bit of our MO, too. You, you look at when there were 60 possessions in the game last night, they were only at 50, 55 points. And then they have a five-point possession. All of a sudden, it's a game again, too. So um, we got to be smart in, in using our adjustments because I think the best thing that we have is just us being the best version of us. You guys made a lot of plays tonight, but I think maybe the biggest reaction of base crowd pop was for, for Odell's hustle. What does he bring to your club? He brings joy. He brings energy. Um, he brings, uh, you know, as a head coach, as a leader, he brings uh, a spirit that you want to be about. Just he's, he's continues to work. I mean, it hasn't been easy. It's, it's been a grind. Um, he's made strides in the classroom. He's made so many strides with his body, and it's fun to see him out there having success and his teammates enjoying that. You better right now than you thought maybe you'd be at this point. It's early in the season. You know, it was it was a good weekend, Jeff, and I'm looking forward to the opportunity Monday to continue to work with these guys. I I, I don't know. We don't get caught up in we're learning from yesterday and, and trying to get better tomorrow. Rocky slow start tonight offensively. Uh, started shoot, not shooting up the ball real well, but eventually we're able to kind of cap them a little bit. How would you guys stay locked in early in the game? Um, you know, just confidence from coaches and other players to – Keep shooting the ball confidently. Um, getting your feet ready, you know, wanting the shot instead of just waiting for it and not being ready for it. Going to get the shot, um, we're shooting it with confidence. Uh, we talked about it in, in the huddles and timeouts and, and it showed at the end of the game. Did it make a specific defensive adjustment on Tut after his performance last night? Obviously tonight went much, much better. Yeah. Um, you know, we talked about, you know, keeping some bigger guys on him. Getting him off his left hand, obviously, which he probably scored the majority of his points on last night. Um, it seemed to work out. Malik, does this feel like a pretty good team win? It seemed like everybody was contributing early on off the bench was making a rebound, getting assists, or doing something on the floor. Mm -hmm. For sure, it's a, it's a good team win. You guys uh, coming off the bench, uh, bringing a spark. You know, you got big skin, a whole bunch of rebounds. Everyone's getting on the floor. So you saw what it was. What it was. It's a good team win, a lot of energy, and it's a good time. How does a guy like Biggs kind of lift you guys up? I mean, not, not somebody who's going to average 12 and 10, but mm -hmm. uh, he got on the floor. That might have been the loudest moment of the night. Yeah. Uh, you, if you get to know Biggs, you know, anything he does, you know, the crowd likes it, teammates like it, in practice you see it. So anytime he brings that energy, it's a good time. When we talked about Graham a little bit yesterday. Can you uh, describe his game tonight? Uh, a unicorn. That's uh, how I describe <laughs> Grant. He's, you know, uh, blocking shots, getting rebounds, has uh, anything he wants, you know, spin move, hook shot. He's going to be a great player.